<laughs> this Saturday, NASA will test the most powerful rocket engines in the world right next door in Mississippi. You'll be able to hear it miles away. Erica Ferrando tells us what we can expect. NASA plans to send the first woman and next man to the moon in 2024 as part of the Artemis program. Very excited to be part of this critical mission. Gary Benton is the director of safety and mission assurance yeah, at Stennis that, uh, Space Center in Mississippi. He's been preparing years for this Saturday, the rocket's final test before heading into deep space. Working for years to get the facility ready and to get the rocket tested. Stennis prepared its B-2 test stand to test NASA's space launch system or SLS rocket. It's the biggest test that we've done at Stennis Space Center in the last 40 years. The SLS will be the world's largest and most powerful rocket. It can travel farther and faster than any other rocket. And because it's of its capacity, um, it can carry things like large aperture telescopes and deep space exploration probes. Jeff Zadi with Aerojet Rocketdyne is the engine's program director. It's a key milestone for the program. It's a key milestone for NASA. Saturday, NASA will test the SLS core stage, which was partially built in New Orleans East at Mishu Assembly Facility. All four RS-25 engines will fire simultaneously, just as during an actual launch. They won't go anywhere, but will generate 1.6 million pounds of thrust. Expect it to be loud and powerful. It'll sound like a thunder um, rumbling. Don't worry, it won't be loud enough to have any damaging effect. How far out might you actually hear this? Yeah, um, NASA predicts that you could hear it as far out as 60 miles. So if you're in New Orleans, uh, it's a good chance that you'll hear this test on Saturday. If all goes as planned, the engines will head to Kennedy Space Center in Florida next month, where an uncrewed launch will happen as early as this November. It's all part of NASA's next step to send people to the moon and eventually Mars. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Due to COVID, there will be no public test viewing opportunities, but you can watch live on NASA's TV website. The actual test will only take about five, eight minutes rather, and will happen around 4.20 p.m.